we got the goods. Got the Paniolo bowl. So cute. It's got strawberries, cacao nibs, banana. There's peanut butter, there's chocolate. It's gonna be an amazing breakfast and we're gonna go eat it by the beach. Because today is a beach day and that's what we're, that's all we're gonna be doing today. <laughs> Checking out by the beach. What'd you get? Cheers. Um, it's a green bowl with ginger and kale and bananas and goji berries. Wow, it's like so beautiful, yeah. so colorful. <laughs> I love that. So we made it to the beach, and I brought this book. It's called Every Summer After, A Radiant Debut. That's not part of the name, but <laughs> that's the review that it says on the front. I don't know, it was in the summer read section of Target, and I figured, let us give it a go. But that's the only plan for today. It's just to lounge around and take in some sun and read our books. Mine is the worst best man that I promised my friend I would read so here, here nice. we go. Nice. The worst best man. Hell hath no fury like a bride scorned. Is that Shakespeare or something? <laughs> my last week in Paris. I can't believe how fast these last three weeks have gone.
I've been feeling pretty scattered this morning and I don't even know if it's necessarily a bad thing. I just think I'm desperately in need of a reset and I think this trip to go visit my parents is gonna be a perfect opportunity to reflect on my year thus far and just reevaluate my goals and fix mistakes that I've made and you know celebrate the little wins so I just really need some time and space to properly do that I'm excited for it I still haven't packed everything that they need to pack is right there on the bed for the most part that's my stuff Toby still has to figure out his stuff when he gets home from work I I have a few dishes left in the sink. Can't motivate myself to do them right now. I took out the trash. As you can see, there's still some cardboard that I just haven't brought myself to take downstairs yet. I was like, two trips is enough for right now. And I've just been pretty hard on myself for a while now and I'm kind of tired of talking to myself in such a negative way. So I've been listening to affirmations while I brush my teeth and wash my face usually. I'm about to do a very quick five minute meditation because my friend is on her way. She's gonna be here very soon and I thought I was gonna be able to squeeze in like an hour long yoga flow. But as I mentioned, I've been scattered. I've been like kind of editing over there and cleaning and running up and down the stairs and on the phone with my parents and just super in my head about everything, watching YouTube videos, just scattered. So let's meditate, recenter ourselves, and then let's go have a nice lunch with my friend. One of the things that keeps me really motivated in terms of meditating, even though I don't do it every day, I will literally look at the notification on my phone and be like, I'll do it a little bit later. And later never happens. But one of the things that really helps me is that I st tend to meditate in the same place every day. One of the beauties of meditation is that you can do it absolutely anywhere. And I absolutely do. <laughs> I do it in the stock room at work. I'll do it in the airport. I'll do it in the bathroom. But I love just like coming over here sitting on my little yoga block next to the coffee table and just knowing that everything's gonna be okay and that I can gift myself a little bit of stillness every day and it's not going to impede on any other parts of my life. In fact, it's probably gonna help them. I'm feeling really good about it right now, so I've literally got six minutes until my friend is supposed to be here, which means I have five minutes to meditate. The quote today is, life is far too important a thing to ever talk seriously about. I love that. Sounds contradictory, but it ain't. And honestly, I struggle with that all the time between taking myself too seriously and not taking myself seriously enough. So I just pull up on the same app the timer got, um, I just pick which beginning and ending bell I want and I give myself 15 seconds before to get into it. And then I just have like a little bit of ambient sound, which I don't always do, but it's nice. And I'm home alone, so here we go.
just got off of work. I have a little bit of a headache. I think I have a little monthly visitor on the way. And we leave at 5 a.m. to fly out east. I'm so excited. I still haven't packed yet though, so I'm headed home to eat dinner, pack, and knock out for the night so that we can get on a plane in the morning. But I really just need a vacation, I need a reset, I need some time to myself and time with my family. And I feel really good about having worked so much for the past couple weeks to put a little money in my pocket so that I can really enjoy and relax. So I'm excited to take you guys along for that. Thank you.